Hello everyone, this is Simone from K Devices, and in this video I'm gonna talk about the new version of Hearst, version 1.1, uh, which includes some improvements and some new features. We spent some time on the interface to make it more readable and more compact in order to leave more space for your other devices on the channel strip. And uh, we improved also the behavior of the sliders, mainly on high CPU loads and when they are automated. We added also the open sound control support. So now you can control on the fly the grid and each step sequencer via OSC. Uh, its implementation chart is contained in the manual, so if you want to make your custom controller or maybe a touch template, I don't know, it is probably very helpful. We also created a um, iOS Lemur template to edit the grid and the step sequencers and you can get it for free at kdevices.com. Um, the OSC connection procedure is the same as we illustrated some weeks ago in that video. Uh, so I prefer to link you to that video instead of repeating the same process. Also we added a parameter called empty buffer on unlock. This may be particularly useful for those of you who use Hearst Live because this option gives you the possibility to, yeah, as the name suggests, to raise the content of the buffer automatically each time you unlock it. Uh, we also added left and right arrows to the grid and we added a set of options called Sync Settings that will be useful for those of you which are going to sync live transport via an external MIDI source. So now Hearst also supports external MIDI sync. If you don't work with that, you wouldn't care so much about it, but if you do, you will be very happy. Um, the settings may work in two modes. Uh, we create the, a defined mode and a from clock mode. The definite mode is the one that gives you the best result since you only have to define the BPM with this box and you're done. You can also automate this parameter to have different BPM in the same live set. The other one um, detects the BPM from the incoming MIDI clock, so from a sort of a, let's call it, variable sync signal. In this mode, you can define the amount of decimal number of the BPM, like 0, 1 or 2, increasing or reducing the, um, its sensibility. Please note that if you increase the sensibility, you will even increase the chance to clear the buffer, and as a consequence, also the Ognio signal that you already have recorded. That's why we can say that the main useful settings are 0 and 1. And that's all. This is a free update, and if you don't already have a copy of it, you can get it at tableton.com or get any other information at kdevices.com. Thanks for watching and enjoy hers.